beer clean glasses. And what did he mean by that? Let's take a look at the way this beer pours. And we can watch as the bubbles, uh, the carbon comes out of the glass. And you can see as the bubbles stick to the side of the glass. That's sticking to dirt. Uh, not filth, but uh, what's called a dirty beer glass. It can be anything from uh, uh, detergents to uh, lipsticks to just, you know, greasy from dirty water and not pro washed properly. And another uh, example of that is what we see here in this, this shot here of the same beer. Uh, the head retention will not stay long. The bubbles will dissipate quickly, rather quickly. That's another result of what we call a, a, a dirty beer glass. In this example, a glass right out of the dishwasher leaves bubbles on the side too, left the residue from uh, other dishes that just we cannot see by eye. If I would receive a beer like this, uh, with a glass being this dirty, and that uh, prevalent, uh, the dirty, I'd be sending it back. Here's an example of a uh, beer poured in a clean glass that's beer clean. Uh, notice the bubbles just rising perfectly. Nothing, no bubbles sticking to the side at all. Good indication. A dirty glass can affect the head retention and the aroma and flavor of a beer from what the brewer originally intended for the drinker to experience. In this example, we see some contamination on the side of the glass that hasn't really affected the head retention just yet. But why risk it? I wouldn't. I would send this one back also. This glass was washed in uh, uh, sanitizer, so it should be beer clean. And that's what we're here to find out. We got a nice head on there. Nice two finger, two, two and a half finger head. It should hold almost a whole can of beer. Without overflowing, if you pour it aggressively and just right, look at that. She might overflow, she might not. That's a nice looking head.